Hello and welcome to the Friday Climbing Daily Gear Show. Now spring is in full swing and summer is just around the corner, so we thought it was about time we showed you guys some sport climbing kit. So we're going to show you the basic essentials that you need and a few tasty extras to make you a little bit more pro. And stay tuned until the end of the show where I'll be giving away an amazing discount code. You don't need a huge amount of kit with sport climbing, but there are a few useful things to get you started. This video is a bit more for sort of intermediate climbers, so people who've been climbing indoors for a while and want to progress outdoors, but just don't know where to get started. So, here's the beginner setup. So you're going to need some quick draws, and I'd recommend getting about 12. That'll allow you to do some longer routes or some shorter routes and have a few spares in case you drop some. It's always useful to have a few attached to your harness when you get to an anchor, especially if you're not going to strip the route straight away and you need to set up some kind of top rope malarkey. Okay, so if you're going to be predominantly sport climbing, it might be worth getting some sport climbing drawers. These are the Wild Country Proton drawers. They're a bit beefier, which means they're going to take multiple falls. They have a nice wide dog bone section so you can pull on it in an emergency. And the carabiners themselves are nice and wide, so easy to clip onto the bolts. And this bent gate at the bottom is fantastic for clipping the rope into. They are a little bit heavier, but that's not really going to matter because mostly when you're sport climbing, you're putting these drawers in before your red points send. So you can put these on your harness, work a route, get them all in place and ready, and then go for the big one. If you're considering doing some more all-round climbing, so trad climbing, alpine, sport climbing, it might be worth getting some more all-round drawers. These Positrons from Black Diamond are a great choice. They're pretty lightweight, but still quite beefy, so you can fall on them a lot and have nice big carabiners. They're also 15% off at the moment in the Epic TV shop, so a good time to buy them. The sets come in six in a packet, so it's good to sort of buy a few of these and then you get your 12. Other thing to consider is you might want to get a long one or two um, quick draws. So for example, the Proton I showed you earlier is 25 centimeters. So this is great to extend a placement. You know when you're like on a horrible crimp trying to make a clip and you can't quite reach it and it's all nasty? If you can extend it, you can make your clipping position a little bit better from an easier hold. Pretty useful to have. Okay, so you're gonna need a harness. A harness is obviously important, and if you're just gonna be sport climbing, getting something lightweight makes sense. It's not as bulky and doesn't get in the way, and you don't need all those little extras. Check out this Petzl Hirundus. It's only 280 grams for the medium version and uses fuse form technology to ensure a lightweight shape that kind of fits to your body position. It's also got these nice big uh, gear loops for quick draws, and it's kind of stiff, so they're easily accessible. What I really like about this is the fact that Although it's lightweight, it's not so thin that it's going to cut you in half if you fall on it. A really good choice. So you're going to need a rope and something like this Tendon Master Pro 9.2mm is perfect. Really lightweight but super durable. In fact, we filmed this in a far prettier way earlier so I'm just going to show you that. You need a rope that's lightweight but it's going to put up to some abuse. I'd recommend looking for something between 9 and 10 millimetres for a good all-round feel. The Tendon Master Pro is 9.2 millimetres thick and has a specially woven sheath that stops particles penetrating into it, making it last longer. It feels great when being handled and super quick in the belay device. In fact, be a little bit careful during the first couple of uses as it might catch you unawares. So for a belay play, if you're mainly sport climbing, you're going to be looking at something with assisted braking. And Grigri have kind of been at the forefront of this for a while. Now, although you should never take your hand off the dead rope, what a Grigri does is help to catch the climber. So if there is a moment where you're not paying attention or something else happens, it helps to catch you, which adds that extra element of safety. Now this is the Grigri 2, but they've just brought out the Grigri Plus. Now the advantages of this over the old model is it has an extra panic function. So if you're lowering a climber down and you suddenly yank open that gate, it jams and stops the climber from hitting the ground. It's also got a top rope lever, so you can switch it between top rope and lead modes. When you're in top rope, it's a bit more grabby, so it locks, uh, locks quicker, which is better for when you're kind of feeding that rope through the top. And in lead mode, it's nice and smooth again. This is a perfect choice if you haven't got a Grigri, or you're buying a Grigri for someone who isn't as experienced, or you just want something with many, many levels of safety in it. This is really cool. Okay, so that's the basics covered. Now here's a few extras that you can pick up to improve your sport climbing time. Getting a clip stick like this is pretty useful. It extends, which means you can reach higher up the wall 
and clip bolts uh, with your rope already attached through them. Often at sport climbing crags, the first bolt is quite high up off the ground. And with this, you can clip that first bolt uh, and make it a bit safer for when you're getting to it. It's also considered ethically absolutely fine to be able to do that. These are also useful for clipping your way up a route when you want to work different sections or just put the drawers in. These are great. If I wanted to hit the ground every time I fell, I'd be a boulderer. Belay glasses. Now, honestly, I have never worn these and probably never will. I find them pretty hard to use and feel really silly when wearing them, but people do swear by them. So they're designed so that you can look straight ahead while seeing up. That means that during a really long belay, you won't get a sore neck and also it helps on those really overhanging cliffs. As I said, I haven't really used these very much, so please let me know what you think about them by commenting below. Do they work? Do they not work? Do you think they look silly? Let me know. Now, if you're at a really hard sport climbing crag, it can be quite difficult to get your fingers warmed up ready for your climb, especially at somewhere like Raventor in the UK, where the sort of warm-up routes are about 7B+. One option is to buy a sort of campus ring like this moon one, drill some holes in it, attach some rope, and then you can hang it to a tree or even the first bolt and use it to get your fingers warmed up on. And if all else fails, well, you've got a campus rung. If you fancy a bit of DIY, check out these moon ones. Just so you know, I'm putting all of these products that I've talked about today in a big collection page that you can find at the bottom in the copy. So make sure you check that out. And finally, have a look at this red chili heat up set. It comes as a little case and it includes a skipping rope uh, for skipping, uh, a rubber ring that you can use to kind of massage your forearm uh, to get your grip muscles working, a resistant band for your shoulders and back muscles and a little massage ball to work out all those kinks. It's a cool little set and actually would make a great present for someone or you could just buy it for yourself. So that's the sport climbing kit sorted. Now I mentioned a discount code. From the 28th of April until the 30th of April, so this weekend, you get 10% off everything in the Epic TV shop. Just enter the code HOLIDAY10 at the checkout to get your discount. It's a pretty good deal. And finally, finally, remember to enter our hashtag Epic Trad Rack competition. Take a picture of your Trad Rack, put it on Instagram, tag us Epic, hashtag Epic Trad Rack, and you can win amazing prizes from Arcteryx and runner-up prizes from SoIl, 510 and Kong. Thanks for watching, see you soon.